Hey, hey Art crew. crew. This is Mr. Crumby and Caroline. So we're back for another video. And so what we're going to do today is, since Earth Day is coming up pretty soon, we're going to do a special Earth Day art project. And so we're going to draw um, one of my favorite sea animals to kind of help us encourage us through Art Day. And so um, just follow along with us. And Caroline, you got something to say? See you later. All right, so what we're going to make today is a sea turtle. And so very simple lines today we're going to be using. So just follow along. If you have a pencil, that's perfect. Um, I'm going to use a Sharpie so that way you can see it on my paper here. Um, but just follow along and um, we'll, we'll talk about coloring here at the end. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to start kind of in the middle of the page here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with kind of a curved line for the top of the head. Just like that. Just a little curved line for the top. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start on each side. Now we're gonna draw the eyes kind of on each side of his head. So just a curve like this. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Just like that. Now, we want to curve it around on the outside. Curve it just like that. So let's make the eyes. All right, so inside of here, I'm gonna draw another curve. Another curve. And right down here at the bottom, I'm gonna add Two curves like that on each side. Then some little lines just like this. And then inside of our eye here, we'll draw two little circles. That's kind of where the light kind of reflects off the eye a little bit. All right, so we need the bottom of his head. And so what we're going to do is kind of on from here, just a, another curve line that connects all the way across. Now, our little turtle here needs a mouth. So, right in between the eyes, we'll draw a smile, little lines like that. Oh, he's so cute. All right, so we need some spots on his head. So right up here on the top, I'm just gonna start creating some spots. It doesn't really matter how you make them. Notice I'm not trying to make like a certain kind of shape. I'm just kind of seeing what kind of shapes form as I'm kind of coloring them. Uh, I see a few little bitty in there. There we go, perfect. All right, so now let's, let's start working on his shell or her shell. Could be a boy or a girl, depending on how you wanna make it. So I'm gonna start right here little curve line coming down like that. This is kind of the front part of the shell. I'm gonna come up here right about halfway point in the eye. I'm gonna draw a curve line coming back here just like that. Here's the back of the shell. A little diagonal line. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna connect that to there, kind of with a little another little curve line there. So what we're gonna do, we wanna kinda of follow this shape. We're gonna make, come a little bit in like this. And then over, connect it kind of where the shell and this little diagonal line formed. Let's create our little shape in here. Curve line, and always remember, if I'm going a little too fast, you can always pause the video and then push play again when you're ready. I'm gonna come across, and then back down. Curve line up here. We're gonna do the kind of same thing over here. Curve line up. All right, let's work on his neck and his little legs and little flippers. So right under the chin here, let's draw a small line just like this. Right here, I'm gonna draw a line in like this. 
a line over here. Notice I didn't connect them. I'm gonna leave a little space right here because what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw a curved line just like that. Then right above this, I'm gonna draw another curve. That's gonna make it give it a little kind of fold there, make it look a little more 3D. Now let's draw his, his little fins, or I guess they're little flippers or whatever sea turtles have right there. So I'm gonna start here. Then a curve line coming back. Then right here, I'm gonna come in. And we're gonna make kind of, I don't know, kind of like a little wavy line right here. Just like that. So I'm gonna do this kind of the same thing up here on the front. I don't want it to go too far in front of this one because we wanna make sure our sea turtle stays in proportion here. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna bring this, kind of curve it down, and then I'm gonna do that little wavy line right here. All right, now he needs a back flipper right here. So, just like that. Then we're gonna do the same thing again here. Then add our little wavy line. Just like that. Now, our turtle needs some spots on his legs. So, just like before, I'm not really gonna, not trying to totally make perfect shapes. I just want to kind of make not so much a pattern either. And I'm gonna do the same thing on all the legs. There we go. Now, if you want to, on your little shell here, you can add a shape if you want to, maybe a star, maybe a heart, uh, maybe a lightning bolt, uh, maybe even a flower, um, could be a smiley face, kind of whatever you want to do here. I think I'm going to add, I'm going to add a star, just like that. You could add, you could kind of make it go on all the the spots if you wanted to. Um, let's see here, you can probably see this part, maybe that bottom part, there we go, just like that. And so now our sea turtle is done. So now what you can do is I can start adding things around my sea turtle. If maybe you wanna make your sea turtle a girl and you could add eyelashes, maybe a bow on top, um, maybe some lips on the on the mouth there. Um, so what I want you to do is I want you to start adding some details around it. And so one thing I like to do is I like to add bubbles. Circles just kind of, they're really good little space fillers. And so I'm gonna start with some circles just kind of going around and I'm gonna speed the video up so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is now you can add color if you want to. If you have watercolors, you could color the background with watercolor, some blues and greens and purples. And, and then if you wanted after that, you could use crayons or colored pencil on our turtle and on kind of the, the seaweed, or maybe this is like a coral reef down here. Um, so get creative. I'm gonna bring Caroline in with me and we're gonna, and we're gonna color our sea turtles together. Back. Now we're gonna color. 